life like everything was a party Only 18 years deep and now we're getting started Finish line clear so we focused on the target Wouldn't it be nice if we saturate the market? So you're just gonna uh, make the gun look more like a gun You guys could probably do this as well if you're using this gun Which you're probably not, but if you are it's cool Okay so if you click this little light thingy up at the top I'll make it so it shows no light It's sometimes better to look at if you do that just size these down. Okay, there is. That size down. Let's go ahead and create a cube. Now we want to move this above so we can see it. Move it towards the gun so that it fits in with the gun. And there it is. So let's quickly size this down. That'll do. Let's make it a little bit thinner. A little bit thinner that way. Let's do the side first. No, what are you doing? Let me grab the blue arrow. Blue arrow. Okay, so I'm going to make this like kind of like rails on the side, so I'm just going to size these down so it actually looks like a rail. Uh, that'll probably do. Okay, so if I get to the ZX, ah oh crap, no that's not going to work, is it? No, it is going to work. We want to make it so that it's touching the gun. <laughs> Ew. And then we go to the x-axis, I'm going to rotate a little bit, not too much a little bit and then we're going to duplicate the cube going to set its rotation to zero then we're going to move it along see about there and I'm going to set the rotation back to 10 so we'll leave it at 10 and we'll set this one to 10 okay so now if you kind of look they're like perfect, they're like perfect uh, dimensions, angling, it's yeah, they're exactly the same basically. So let's just go ahead and create more. So we want to duplicate that one again, set the rotation to zero, move it along to about there, set the rotation back to ten, duplicate, set to zero, move it along, didn't duplicate, put it back, Duplicate, <laughs> set to zero, move along. Okay, now most guns only have four of these, so we're just gonna not move it along too much. Set it back to zero, move it back, set it to ten. Okay, so that's doing fine. Let's grab all of them, duplicate them, let's go back to the z axis, move it to the other side of the gun. It's about there. And there we go. Now, if I hit play, ah, oh crap. Okay, no, stop, stop playing. Get rid of that. Um, if you go back to these, we have to set the layer to guns. I totally forgot about that. Guns, guns. So that our gun camera can pick it up. Guns. So hard to see. Guns. Guns. It's probably an easy way to do this, but I can never find the easy way. Guns. Okay, so if I hit play, they're not part of the gun, I just realized. So let's grab all these cubes and let's put them. Let's first of all change the texture so that they're in line with the gun. Where did I put that with their materials? Gun material. Put that in, put that in, put that in. Ah, okay, that's that side done. Put that in. Okay, now considering that this is made completely out of cubes, I don't think it's that bad. Because, first of all, you know, it's, it, it's made out of cubes. So you can't exactly do much with cubes. But anyway, back to our spectre. You want to plop all of these cubes in our spectre. There we go. And now if we hit play, there we have cubes on our spectre. Maybe we need to space them out a little bit more. So yeah, either way, they're there. <laughs> so yeah, so another key.
Nah, they're good. I'm gonna leave it like that. That'll do. Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna start the tutorial first by thanking you guys for so many subscribers and video views. And also if you could check out my uh, new project, if you haven't already. But yeah, so it's to this tutorial. Okay, and that today is probably gonna be two tutorials just because, you know, just because I like you guys. And also it's we got quite a bit to do. Okay, so last on the last kind of short preview video that I'd done, I created these. Yep, that's right. These. Okay, now they're kind of pointless, but they just give that gun that little bit more edge. I don't even know what edge, but it gives it edge. But I forgot to take the box colliders off, so if you did follow that little mini tutorial thing, you're gonna have to untick these boxes. The box collider box, if you didn't know what I was unticking. Uh, just to get rid of the colliders so it doesn't collide with the player when we're like sprinting or something. Something like that. Let's get rid of the box colliders on all of these. This one looks out. Okay, so I just want to see where I left you guys off. Yeah, we got our jumping animation, our zooming animation, we got walking, sprinting, and that's basically it. We got shooting, we got shooting. Okay, so let's uh, get on with this. What you first of all want to do here, where we have the jumping animations, just go ahead and create an empty game object and call this. What did we call that? We called that Spectre. Spe Spectre. Okay, and uh, you want to put this in the m uh, put in the jumping animations, and then zero it all out. Okay, so that's practically yeah. Okay, and then drag it back out just so we yeah. And the jumping animation, you want to click and drag that into the specter. Yeah, seems right. Okay, now if we play it, the gun should stay where it is, but still play the animations. So you see aiming and sprinting, uh, jumping. Okay, you can't really see jumping that way, but it does the animation. And yeah, so now we got that. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to make it so that the gun follows the camera, but literally like uh, say 0.2 seconds later, so it like kind of drags it across the screen, so it, it looks nice and smooth and realistic. Um, so let's quickly create that script. Where's that script? That's that script. Go ahead and create a script, uh, JavaScript. Let's call this player. No, no. Let's call this gun script. Gun script. Let's open her up. Okay. Take your time. Take your time. I did double click on it, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so you should open up. Okay, there we go. Let's just fix all these like I always do. Okay, so uh, if we think about this, you obviously need our player. Player, player. Uh, player transform is better. Because transform is practically its position, which is what we're going to be using, so it makes it more understandable. Transform. And then close that off. There's our first variable. Let's go ahead and save that. So it's basically just getting that position, which is what we're going to be using. Uh, let's create another variable. Oh, hello kitty. Okay, no, 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 you can sum it up. There you go. Um, and then we're also going to need our player script. No, wait, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Player script. I forgot the capital P. Player script. And that is going to be. Player, player. It's going to be player, because that's what the other script is called. Let's just open up that script. Okay. So that's practically that script we're linking in with that. Got to create another variable. Hmm. Okay. Now we want our camera. 
Oh, we got to close open house. Object. 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 Nah. Let's call this player camera. That's gonna be a game object. Okay, so that's our game object. Um, now we're gonna create a couple of targets. Uh, hide and inspect up. Okay, now this will stop it from coming up. Uh, I'll just show you. We got a first person. Okay, now in this character motor, see where it says can control. If you put hide in an in an in x x inspector, it's a long word. Uh, that wouldn't come up in the inspector, so you won't be able to like set it or anything. Basically, things that we don't need to set, we just put in here. And we want our target x uh, rotation. Uh, that's going to equal float. We're not setting it. Copy. Uh, paste it. Make that target Y. Save. Okay, so we got our X target. No, I'm the only bunny rabbit here. I like being a bunny rabbit. I'm going to try and get back to the Okay. Um. Sit this way. Yep, that's right. Ah, I'm a bunny rabbit. Ah, I found another bunny rabbit. Ah, I'm gonna go make friends. Ah, if there's a girl, I think it's a girl. It looks like a girl, but it's pretty hot. Sup, babe? Okay, where's direct communication? What's up? One, two, mate. Um, make little furry bunnies. Okay, uh, I don't know whether it's being rude or if it's just plain ignoring me. 